Hello, my name is Emily, as you may or may not know, and today we are going to be talking about the idea of the customer is always right, and uh, just like customer service jobs in general. And let's give a round of hearty applause for today's sponsor, Scentbird! Scentbird, everybody! Woohoo, woohoo, and the crowd went wild! Now, if you have worked in any type of customer service environment, you know that some customers have this sense of entitlement that can, you know, be at the expense of the workers. Now, obviously, without customers, businesses can't run. Okay, believe me, I ran a lemonade stand once. So it makes sense that establishments are going to want to keep their customers happy so that they can keep coming back and, you know, they can make money because uh, I don't know if you know this, but money is actually important for businesses. But to prioritize customer satisfaction to the point where the phrase, the customer is always right, was invented and, you know, to an extent implemented, it's like... Okay, I think we're pushing the envelope here a little bit. Because sometimes the customer is not right. Sometimes they are dead wrong and they should be aware of it. Generally speaking, the consumer has been put on such a high pedestal that, you know, a customer can lash out, start yelling, make a scene, start flinging around feces like a goddamn monkey, and then the employee is supposed to just stand there and be professional and be polite and take it like a little capitalistic punching bag. I mean, we would see it all the time in those Karen videos, right? You know, the white woman with the angular bob walks into JCPenney and starts yelling so loud it's like she wants God to hear her from Wisconsin, and then the employee is just like, Yes, ma'am. Right, ma'am. Can you please step aside, ma'am? Because of this slightly outdated but still prevalent idea that the customer is always right, there's, you know, a minority of entitled, rude people who think that just because they're the customer, they should be able to get whatever they want. Excuse me. Hi. Yes, I would like to return this shirt. Return that shirt? Yes. Good job. That is what I said. <clears throat> This is a restaurant. So I can't make a return here and I should just kill myself. Well, that's not exactly what I said, but yeah, you cannot make a return here unless it's like a plate full of food that has hair in it or something. That is not what I was told. Who did you talk to? David. There is no David that works here. He's from the, the Bollywood branch. The Bollywood branch? Yes, the Bollywood branch, okay? I was just there. Bollywood is not a place. Here, just take it! <gasps> and I will need my money back in euros. We don't do international currency exchange here. Ma'am. We sell salads. Fine, I don't need euros, but what I do need is to see Tom Cruise immediately. What, like in theaters? No, 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 okay, I need him in the flesh right now. And I need him to be my stuntman for my homemade kombucha commercial, okay? There's gonna be a lot of exploding glass. Right. Um, well, unfortunately, ma'am, um, our small salad business in Arkansas does not have any affiliation with Tom Cruise. So, oh my God, what the hell? Let's talk about today's sponsor, Scentbird. Oh God, what? That was so abrupt. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that allows you to try designer fragrances for only $17 a month. Lady, what are you talking about? So glad you asked. The summer season is the perfect time to be having fun and trying new things, so why not add a new fragrance into your daily routine? <gasps> With Scentbird, you can sign up and receive up to three travel size scents monthly. Oh, my eyes burn, but... It does smell good. They have perfumes, cologne, plenty of unisex options, and over 600 designer brands to choose from, okay? I'm talking Gucci, Prada, Versace. Really? Yes, please don't interrupt me. The scents that I received were DKNY Be Delicious, which smells like green apple, grapefruit, cucumber, tuberose, and white woods. Toca Lucia, which smells like Italian lemon, fig, and vetiver. And Homage Guidance, which smells like frankincense, pear, rose, sandalwood, and vanilla. So make sure to click the link below to go to Scentbird's website or use the QR code and use my code, not even Emily, to get 55% off your first month at Scentbird. That's only about $8 for your first month. If I use your code, will you leave? Yes. I've worked customer service jobs in the past. You know, I used to be a waitress at a nursing home, actually. And uh, since they were living there, uh, I didn't get tips. Uh, what I did get was sexually harassed by old men who served in the Vietnam War. And even with the jobs that I have currently, you know, it still requires me to directly interact with people. So when I see a customer service worker who isn't being like exactly chipper, 
it doesn't really bother me. Obviously, I understand the value of, you know, being friendly and having a happy energy when you are working so directly with people. Um, but at the same time, I, I understand like how hard that can be to appear very like chipper and joyous when you're having a bad day. Like you really never know what someone else is going through. And even if they're not particularly going through anything and they're just kind of stoic, I'm just like, okay, that's really none of my business. Like it's your job to, you know, just hand me my donut and my coffee. You don't have to like do an Irish jig and act like you're so happy to see me. Like if I'm interacting with a customer service worker and they aren't being, you know, overtly happy, my immediate reaction isn't, um, that's so unprofessional and I would like to speak with your manager. It's more just like, damn. You know, like I, it, it seems like they're having a bad day. I hope it gets better. Or, it may, or it, maybe they genuinely, I've met people, you know, in like a, the customer service realm where like I'm the customer and they're working there and I can just tell that like, and I'm not trying to be like condescending or whatever, but truly that they hate their life. Like <laughs> I could just tell that they're, they have never been more miserable than in this moment behind the gap sales counter. Do you know what I mean? And it's just like, I hope that you can find a job that actually fulfills you because I can tell that you do not want to be here. And you know, I feel like people who are younger tend to be a little bit more lenient with those sorts of things. Uh, people who are, this is obviously a generalization, but sometimes people who are older or people who are in general just more like rude and entitled. No, I'm not saying that all, all older people are rude and entitled. Um, but you know, they're the ones who are more likely to be like, um, he didn't smile when he handed me my Big Mac, electric chair. For me with customer service, it's like, as long as they're not being overtly rude or like beating me over the head with a bat, it's like, I really don't have an issue. You know what I mean? I don't expect you to act like it's the greatest honor of all time to hand me my lunch. So I entered this really exclusive raffle at my company. Last year, the winner got an all expenses paid trip to Portugal. Holy shit. Yeah, they announced who wins today. So I'm super like, what? Oh my God. What? What? I won. You won? I won. Me. I did. Oh my God. What, what did you win? I get to make a chicken Caesar wrap for Amanda Wang. What? Who is that? Just some random woman. Oh, I can't believe that last year's winner got a paid vacation to another country and I get to make lunch for a stranger? Yeah, that seems a little bit shitty. Incredible! Splendid! Incredible is what I meant. To what a great opportunity! Oh my god, thank you, thank you, god! This is the best day of my life! What? Hi, um, did you win the raffle? Yes! Okay, great. Um, yeah, I'm here for the chicken Caesar wrap. What's happening? <gasps> what? Amanda, is it really you? Yes, um, I'm here for the wrap. Oh, what are you doing? I, I think she's bowing down to me. Thank you for this great honor, Majesty Wang. This chicken Caesar wrap will be the greatest gift that I could ever bestow upon another being, for it is the greatest gift that I could ever receive in my mortal lifetime. Okay, yeah, this is so weird. I'm like losing my appetite, so. And you know, because of this emphasis on keeping the customers happy, a lot of people have like their customer service persona. I'm guilty of it, you know? It's like right when you clock in, it's like a separate identity emerges, like Spider-Man or something. I'm a different man, completely unrecognizable as soon as I put that suit on. And then the suit in question is a Red Robin uniform. Or so many people have even like customer service voices that's a part of their persona. And it also is just like repetitive. You know, you're saying the same things every single day. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, we're out of oat milk. Hi, the ice cream machine is broken. You know, it's like everybody is saying their lines. It's, almost, it's like we're all acting. Instead of, you know, we're not competing for the Oscars, but we're competing for employee of the month. You know, I do think that everyone generally does act a little bit differently at work, no matter what you do, because obviously in the workplace, like there's just a certain level of professionality that you probably don't hold in your personal life unless you're uh, maybe weird and a loser. <laughs> but in the service industry, it's just like so elevated. It's like the spirit of customer satisfaction just takes over your body. All right, are you dumb or are you stupid? Your brain is smoother than the stomach of a dolphin slathered in lotion, okay? The catacombs of Paris are jealous of your IQ because of how below the fucking ground it is. Hi, sorry, um. Hi, how can I help you? <laughs> uh, 
Right, uh, sorry, I, I was just wondering if you had this in a small... Unfortunately for our summer collection, everything that we have out on display is all that's available. If you would like, I could help you make an online order. Oh, that's... that's all right. I'm just gonna... Thank you, though. Of course! It is entirely my pleasure! Have a nice day. You have an even better day! The best day! I hope that you experience loads of love and light in this ever-dimming world. Thanks. <laughs> all right, bye-bye now! The day that you die will be the happiest day of my life. I will dance upon your grave and my joy will soak so deep into the ground that the devil will be able to feel it and he will smile. The last thing I want to talk about is the younger generation's cognizance of, you know, the struggles that customer service workers go through that in turn makes them very reluctant to ask for things as the consumer. And, you know, I'm kind of that person too. You, you know, you're like afraid to send your food back even though it's not what you order and, you know, things like that. Like one time my friend found a hair in her drink, like a long hair, okay? Like one that you would use for like a love potion or something. And they were so scared to ask for a new drink. Like they were like, oh, you know, like I don't want to bother them. It's just one hair. And I remember one time I was out to eat and I got a nice delish bowl of French onion soup, right? However, when I was digging through the cheese layer, I found a hair. Uh, about yay long curly and it was you know in there embedded in the cheese and I was like oh that's a unique garnish and I was sitting there like oh I don't know what to do like do I just send it do I ask for a whole different bowl of soup do I just ask for a different like cheese layer <laughs> and my friend was just like just be normal and ask for a different cup of soup like I'm sure they will be able to get you another cup of soup and yeah I don't know I just think it's funny that there's like two sides to the coin right there is you know the entitled rude customer and then the overly cautious scaredy cat customer did they give you the wrong order uh yeah but it's fine. Okay, they gave you a cheesesteak sandwich when you're a vegetarian, lactose intolerant, and have a gluten sensitivity. You know, I'll just, I'll get rid of the steak and the bread and the cheese, and it's fine. So you can eat what, exactly? The plate? Well, you know, it, it looks like there's a few hairs in the sandwich, actually. So you know what, I'll just roll them around on my tongue and make a little hairball for me to suck on. What? Oh, and look! A toenail! Oh my god, put, put that down! That's perfect, I'm sure there's some calcium in this Do thing. not put that in your mouth! Do not! Mmm. It's salty. Hey guys, how is everything? <coughs> it's really good. Perfect. The best meal I could have ever had. And also asked for. Actually... Great. You need to send that back. Look, it's fine. She, she's busy. Alright, it's fine. There's... Look, okay, there's some other toppings on here other than the hair and the toenails. All right, I'll just eat that. Bitch, that's mold. So that is all I have for you guys today. If there are any customer service workers watching this, I'm sure there's probably a plethora of you. Um, hang in there. Also, if you guys have any horror stories, comment them down below because I do want to read them. I'm sure you guys have some. And before I officially end the video, if you were thinking, wow, Emily's looking a little bit more gorgeous than usual, that is because I finally, y'all, you will never believe it, I finally got a ring light. Finally, right? I'm at what, 600 something subscribers? And I finally got a ring light. Next up, I should probably get a new camera. Next up after that, I should probably move on from iMovie and use a more professional editing system. Potato, potato. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and until next time. Okay, are you dumb or are you stupid? All right, you're... S yes? Can we come here? Yeah? Am I in trouble? No. Oh my God, okay. Hey, no wonder people use ring lights because it makes the lighting so much better. Look at this. Um, hello? <laughs> Why didn't I do this like... 680,000 subscribers ago. So I can't make a return here and I should just kill myself. But if you would like, I could help you. Oh my God. Of course, it is entirely my, oh my God. Well, that's not exactly what I said, but. <laughs> so I'm gonna need you to take this shirt and throw it at me. Okay. Like you're like mad right. at me. Well, pretend like you're a Karen and you're trying to make a return and I'm not letting you return it. Okay. She's winding up. She's winding up. Okay, wait, hang on. Oh! Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> no, that was perfect. That was perfect. Even if I react like I'm hurt, I'm fine, okay? Oh!
Can you do that again? Was it too hard? No, 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 that was perfect. That was perfect. Can you do that again? Sorry, that was my okay. bad because I laughed. I wasn't expecting it to hit me in the face. 